Well, we just come off a successful coyote stand. We've moved maybe a mile and a half or so, maybe a mile and three quarters, right down the same bottom. I'm gonna try it again, see if we can't call another one up, we're just gonna stick with the same sequence. Often do you? Not very often. <laughs> Anything first came to puppy sound. That's puppy sounds there. I know when we switched to the rabbit. I think that's a I think that's a different one. Yeah, this other one's still gonna be right here. Yeah, it's the second one we've called up. <laughs> well, we just had some craziness go on. Hopefully you can hear us. We got the winds picked up on us a little bit. Out here making another coyote stand. And we've actually called up two different badgers. We noticed it. Uh, we were sitting around a bunch of dug up spots, but we thought maybe it was just coyotes or whatever digging, but it ended up being badgers. And uh, had one that come pretty good piece. Uh, finally got the camera on it, but it come out for a good shot. While we are still trying to work it, we looked up and here come a great big and running in here. He looked like a bear running in there to me. Let's see what we got. Yeah, right there's our call. Our badger's just right there. He was coming right to it, right to, ended up coming into 10 town pups. My gosh, that thing is big. Roll him Balls over. On that thing. Get him over away from him, man. The ants have took him over. Gosh. That's crazy. Like flat, flatten him down, like where his belly's down, where we see him good. Yeah. Hey, a big old critter right there. How much do you think he weighs, Phil? Shoot, I don't know. He's over 30 anyway, I think. Really? Pick him up one more time. Good grief, and look at the size of... <laughs> God, I'm pretty sure he's a boar. <laughs> Congratulations, Phil. Thank you. I tell you what, this right here is something you don't see every day. Set up here calling for coyotes. We actually been howling. Uh, we let out female sore house. We started playing a uh, coyote pup 314, which is our go-to sound this time of year. And Phil spots a daggone badger. It actually wasn't this badger, it was a different one. We got a little bit of footage of him. Actually, uh, probably wasn't 40 or 50 yards away, right behind that sage sagebrush, was it? Anyway, we kept working, fluctuating the volume. Actually changed to a couple of rabbit sounds. Uh, still didn't move, he'd poke out every once in a while. I actually could see him pretty good at one point, but Phil couldn't see him where he's further to the right. Switched uh, to 10 town pups to see if that would pique his interest up again to get him come on out. We looked up and this great 
big old badger. I don't know if you call it, if it's a male, we call it a boar or, a, or what you call them. But anyway, this is a big old critter. Come right up here. He wasn't, what, eight steps? Six or eight steps from the call or something like that. He was coming to eat him some coyote pups anyway. But uh, what we did is, you notice, I, we switched up gun and camera. I give Phil the rifle. I don't have the proper license uh, uh, to, to take a badger, so, but Phil does. So we got him the rifle. Then the rest is history, ain't it? That's right. <laughs> that it was crazy. Come right up to this X24, didn't it? He was coming to kill something. Coming to kill something. He must be. I don't. Yeah, he looks like he could. I mean, he has got great big old claws. He's got teeth. We'll show him off a little bit here. But man, it's uh, definitely something you don't see every day. It's a first. First for us, we've. Phil's actually uh, taken a couple badgers before. We caught a couple badgers up two or three years ago, but we didn't get them on film. But we sure got this one on our pretty pretty cool hunt. Congratulations, Phil. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Tooth and Claw TV.